Hello YouTube, my name is PixelGuy and we are having a pixel perfect day today. Now guys, today's video is a bit different again because today we are going to talk about Android phones and tablets screen recording. So back in the day when Android 4.4 KitKat was a thing, screen recording was a bit hard because you had to root your phone. Now, after Lollipop and Marshmallow came out, it's much easier. You don't have to root your phone to make it work. All you have to do is download an app that works best for you. And that's the point where I am going to help you with this. So the application that I'm using at the moment is AC Screen Recorder No Root. It says no root and it's totally true. It works without rooting. It's just really easy to use. If you download the app, you have really a lot of settings. So the first one is encoder. You have to set it to default to work properly. Using magic button is not a good thing. So I turned that off. There are several ways to stop recording. Uh, there's an option to pull down the notification shake. And behind that there is a stop button or there is an option to stop with locking the screen. I think those two are the best options. Down here is the video resolution 1080p as you can see 60 frames per second and the bit rate is 12 megabits per second. Orientation you can set it to auto if you record vertically. Most of the times it's just set to landscape for me, but now that I'm recording this screen, I have to set it to auto. Down here is a time lapse option that I have never used. Under that is audio configuration, where you can set whether you want to record audio with this application. It only works through microphone. And that's the only thing that was better when we had KitKat because back then you could record the audio internally. Under that is text and logo and showing touches, which you can see I've turned on. You can use face cam, but it's only available in the paid version. You can add timer. I don't know why would you do that, but you can do that. And here's an option to calm down before start. I turned that off because a lot of the times it just messed up my file. The last option is setting the output directory where you can set where you want to save the file. So this was it for today's video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you find this video helpful, please make sure to smash a like on it. And if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. I not only make tips and tricks videos, but real racing free videos and great car designs as well. Thank you for joining me. See you in my next video. Bye.